This is JohnnyGrubbaughmanTrain.com. Just think about the people out there that hate on people because they're fucking weak, okay? Now think about this for a minute. Pennsylvania voted in a fucking, basically a fucking vegetable, all right? Which goes to show that half of Pennsylvania has a half-functioning brain because they elected in a man with a half-functioning brain, right? He talks in gibberish, okay? I don't know, maybe these idiots speak his language. I don't know, but when you vote in somebody to represent you that is disabled, okay? And yes, he is disabled, okay? It's not that he can't walk or anything like that. He can't comprehend, okay? You're an idiot, okay? It's kind of like I said before, the guy, the fat guy who wears this superhero shirt that's too short, okay? So when he gets up off the ground or doing an exercise... He had to keep pulling his shirt down because he doesn't make enough money to be able to buy shirts to fit him. Fetterman's another one. He's a guy who wears a cut-off Carhartt and stands in front of a factory, never had a fucking job. Yet, for some reason, people want to elect these idiots in to um, delegate on their behalf. Now, people say, well, he went to college. It didn't do him any fucking well. It didn't do him any fucking good. Because he never had a fucking job. Why go to college if you're just going to sit home and collect fucking money from your fucking dad? Okay? See, I bought my own home. Okay? Yes, I bought mine. Bought my own cars. Didn't have to buy my home from my sister for a dollar. Okay? I didn't need a handout from my dad because I did what men do. They actually get jobs, support their fucking families. He couldn't support his family. Essentially like a Karl Marx who... Couldn't support his family. Kind of like with Bernie Sanders, if he never got into Congress, couldn't have supported his family. Just like fucking Fetterman. He becomes lieutenant governor, bang. Now I fucking make money. This motherfucker ain't never worked, and yet he is fucking idiots voted for him. But that, that's not what I really wanted to get at. It's like, how can people be that mentally screwed up, okay, and that intellectually dishonest to do that, where it's going to probably cost Pennsylvania and the people in it in the long run. Okay? Now listen. Anybody that breaks Fetterman's balls, okay, about a stroke, he, they, they fucking attack you and say things like, oh, you're such a big man, you attacked that guy, he had a stroke, oh yeah, you're, you know. These are the same fucking people that told you that if you didn't get vaccinated, they hope you die. The same people said, if you get COVID, you shouldn't get a fucking seat, uh, a bed in the hospital. The same fucking people that said you should be fucking put in fucking jail. Same people said you should lose your job, not be able to go to the grocery store. Fuck you. Fetterman's a fucking vegetable, okay? You don't like it. It's because you yourself are a non-functioning human being, okay? Just remember, these are the people that told you that you should die because you didn't get vaccinated. Now, let me ask you this question, you fucking numbskulls. Supposedly, Fetterman had an irregular heartbeat, which caused a clot that caused a stroke. Hey, can you say fucking vaccination? If it wasn't, then that just means that he's so fucking unhealthy and fat that he didn't care about his fucking family or his own health because if he did, he wouldn't have had that big fucking 12-pound fucking meat sack on the back of his fucking head. Okay? He didn't care about himself. He don't care about his family. So he sure as hell ain't going to care about you. Stop being fucking morons. Stop fucking making decisions on your fucking emotions because that's what most fucking men are. Weak emotional fucking girls. You know, I was saying, I said the other day, I said, what's the difference between an unmarried woman and an unmarried man? The unmarried woman acts like a fucking man. The unmarried fucking man acts like a fucking woman. Later.